how to use Google Docs effectively. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step how you can use Google Docs as a beginner. So let's get started. Now, first off is how we can access Google Docs. So when you're logged on to Google on any browser, you're going to click on the top right where you have your Google applications. You're going to scroll down and you're going to see Docs over here. And once you click on Docs, your Google Docs will open up. Now, this is what your Google Docs home screen is going to look like. So in your home screen, you have a template gallery, which allows you to create things such as resumes, letters, and you have a couple of things like an informal letter, formal letter, pet resume, recipes, project proposals. So you can use some of these templates to write a better document. Now, if you go back over here, you will see all of your recent documents and in your home screen, your recent documents are displayed based on when they were accessed. So you will see a filter on the right, which allows you to see documents based on who owns them. So if they're not owned by you, if they're owned by you or if they're owned by anyone, you can filter these out as well. Then on the right, you also have different types of views, including a list view, a grid view. Then you also have sorting options. You can sort them according to when they were last opened by me or last modified by me or generally last modified. Then on the right, you also have folders. So you can explore folders and organize your documents in Google Drive. Now, starting off, let's start a new Google Doc. So you're going to click on blank document on the top to start your new Google Doc. Once you create a new Google Doc, you can name it by clicking on the top left and enter a name. Let's say this is going to be my YouTube tutorial. Once I've done that, this is what my doc screen is going to look like. Now, whenever you start a new Google Doc, you want to save your doc. So to save your doc, you will see by default, it shows me this icon, which is the document status. Now, this document is being saved on Google Drive as we proceed. So as I write anything on this document, so I'll just write whatever like this, and you will see it will show the saving option and you can click on save to drive. And this is now save to drive. You can click on over here to turn on the offline version, which we will be discussing later. Additionally, you can also see sharing options, but if you want to download your document, you can click on file and then once you do that, you can go on ahead and make a copy or just click on download and download this as a Word document or PDF document, web page, text formula, or open document format. Now that we have covered some of the basics, let's proceed with how you can manage your document. So on the right, you will see document tabs, which is a relatively new feature. You will see you can have the same document and have multiple different tabs. So I can rename a tab by clicking on these three dots. And the first tab is, let's say, going to be how to create a YouTube account or YouTube account creation. I'll rename this to make it a little bit shorter so you guys can see the difference. Creation. And then I'm going to rename the second tab in the same document to be called monetization on YouTube like this. Now I have two segregated areas or tabs within the singular document. Now within one document, you will see you have templates available. You also have meeting notes, email drafts, and more. However, a really important aspect of any document is to build an outline. So whenever you add tabs into a document, you can click on your tab options and then click on show outline. Your headings are going to appear over here. So you might say, hey, I am writing in the document. So whatever we've written in the document, but it's not showing my headings. Let's say this is my heading. Now, the reason it's not going to display your heading as a heading is because you're supposed to mark it under styles. Once you go into styles on the top, you're going to click on heading. And once you mark something as a heading, it will automatically be displayed in your Google Docs outline from the left. Now I'm going to cut this out over here. Now, the next step is to understand sharing permissions for docs because we can type this out as we regularly would. However, sharing is different. If you want to share your online document, you can click on share on the top right. By default, all of your documents are completely private. 
However, you can add a person simply by adding their email address. You can choose to notify them as well, and you can choose whether or not you want them to be an editor on this document, commenter, or viewer. Additionally, you can also copy a link and share this with people. So if you change the general access to anyone with the link, you can change their permissions as well. So whoever has the link to the particular document would have access to your document. You can choose if you want them to be added as a viewer, commenter, or editor. Click on copy link and then you can start sharing. Now that we've covered sharing, let's move on to Google Doc modes. Now, Google Doc modes are different because you can actually change the mode that you are in in a document. If you're trying to suggest something, if you're trying to add comments, this is great. So to do that, you can click on your top right. It says editing mode right beside this pencil icon. Once you click on this pencil icon, you can change the editing option to have viewing or suggesting. When you turn on the suggesting mode, you can add a comment. So these are not going to be added as parts of the document. These are going to be added as suggestions. Replace the greeting with a more direct greeting, including the name of viewer like this. Now I've added this as a suggestion and it's going to be added in green. When I exit from the suggestion mode into this mode, you will see the suggestion is going to be on the right over here. Now you can choose two options. You can reply to the comment or you can discard the comment like so. And I'm going to go back into my suggesting mode and I'm going to remove my previous suggestion because I don't necessarily need it. This is like so, and we're just going to check this off. So this is how you can add suggestions or comments, as we say. Now, you can also use Google Docs offline. Although this is not recommended, you can actually use this offline. So if you go on ahead and click on your file on the top left, you can see this option called Make Available Offline. So you're going to install the Google Docs Offline Chrome extension. Click on Install. This is a free extension provided by Google, and this allows you to store your documents offline. Keep in mind, this is not recommended for public desktops or work desktops, which are shared. If this is your personal device, then it's great to use. Now, Next up, we also have things such as word counts and paid setups. So if you want to customize your page, such as include a word count, because this is important in assignments and school homework, you can go into the tools section and click on word count. Once you do that, you can click on display word count while typing. And this will show you your word count on the left side, including the page word characters and characters excluding spaces. Additionally, you can also go into tools and you can have your spelling and grammar check. You can click on over here and see any suggestions that Google has to give. You can also see who shared a document and you can also use voice typing within Google Docs, which is one of my favorite features. So you can go into tools over here. Once you go into tools, you can click on voice typing. Then you can click on over here. You're gonna have to allow your microphone permissions. So I'm gonna allow this time. And now I can dictate a line. So Google can type it out for me. I wouldn't have to manually type everything. Everything would be typed for me. Now you guys can see once I click on over here, you can also say period and new line to add a full stop or to add a new line. But this is how you can make it really easy for you to type longer documents. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one.